hello and welcome to my channel my name is Abdullah Kamal and today we're gonna do our mini project and it's gonna be based on a story uh, so I was chatting with my friend the other day and he told me a really fascinating story about the guy who invented chess uh, so um, the story goes that the uh, the guy who invented chess um, he showed the game to uh, his king back in India I guess it was I don't know 1000 I don't know thousands of years ago anyway in India and the guy and the king uh, he liked the, the game very much and he asked the inventor what do you want in return and um, the inventor who was also a brilliant mathematician uh, simply said I want one grain of rice from the first square of the chessboard and I want you to double that for me until you hit uh, the uh, final you know, square, which is number 64. For those of you who don't know, the chessboard is 8x8 eight eight squares. Um, Alright, so uh, the, um, the king of course laughed and he thought, okay, this is a really cheap price, are you sure? He said, yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure. He said, okay, we'll do it. Uh, so he asked his accountant and... Uh, whoever was doing his math back then I uh, say okay let's see how much um, grains of rice that will be and to the king's surprise the, the numbers came really big to the point where uh, his kingdom would be stripped from uh, its resources for you know a really long time uh, so the numbers came really you know high to the point where the the king was really surprised and probably was pissed off. So uh, the story goes in two ways. I mean, uh, nobody's sure what happened, but uh, some say that uh, he took the inventor, you know, uh, as his uh, advisor or something. And the other part of the story, that's the sad part, is uh, some say he was killed, executed. All right. So forgetting the king uh, pissed off, you know, classic. Anyway, uh, so uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to try to replicate what happened in that uh, day. So let's first create a table. Okay, so we're going to create a table. Okay, and we're going to say it has headers. So our first table here, we're going to... Uh, the header is going to be... Um, okay, chess squares. So we're going to write the uh, number of... chess squares we're gonna stop by one and we're gonna go down to uh, 64 all right so 64 all right okay so the next thing we're gonna do so this is our uh, 64 uh, squares and uh, the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna calculate how many grain of rice uh, would be in each square so the inventor asked uh, that we start with one grain of rice okay and double that until we finish the um, the 64 squares so basically what he's asking for mathematically is to um, raise the number two to uh, the power of zero and then one and then two and then three you know and that will result in uh, the first square having uh, one grain of rice and then two and then four and then eight and then 16 and then 32 you know okay so the way to do that is to use the uh, function called power and the power we're gonna raise it to oh no sorry we're gonna raise the number two yeah, we're gonna raise the number two to the power of the chess square number minus one. Okay, so we can get the first square having uh, one grain of rice. Okay, so as you can see here, the numbers are huge. Okay, so uh, say number of rice grains. Okay, and I'm gonna format this to uh, something that we. Uh, have no problem reading. I'm gonna put the uh, thousand separator here. 
and we're gonna say okay we'll remove the decimals okay and as you can see so this is the number of grains in each square and it starts small very small and then it goes to huge numbers as you can see here all right so let's convert that to tons weight and tons and see where we get so we convert the number which is this one we use the function called convert and it's going to convert units from one unit to the other so we take this number and we know the unit here is actually grain okay and excel understand the average grain weight and how we convert that to tons okay so we're going to convert that to tons and as you can see here it is just need a little bit of modification okay we remove the decimals all right so as you can see here also the number of tons is really huge okay so let's say this is weight of rice in tons All right. Okay, so uh, the next thing we're gonna do is gonna look at um, uh, some totals here. So let's calculate the totals. So we go to table tools that we have here and we have the total row. And what it does, it adds a row where you can calculate the totals. Okay, so. Uh, we put some here so this is the total number of grains and you can see here how huge this number is and uh, this 18 that you see here this is actually 18 quintillion okay so you have a uh, million you have um, billion and you have trillion and you have quadrillion and then you have quintillion so it's really a huge number all right and this is the weight in tons and um this is the total weight in tons of the rice that uh, the inventor asked for of all the 64 uh, squares and we're going to compare this to the world annual production of rice okay i've already saved that in the name in excel here so we're going to say okay um take this number and divide it by the world production of rice and let's see okay so if we remove the decimals uh, it's actually 1767 times so the inventor asked for almost 1800 times of the world production annually so this means if the king had access to the price production today, he would need literally 1,767 years to pay off his debt. <laughs> See how long this number is and how smart the inventor was at the same time. Anyway, so uh, we have things in perspective now. Okay. So the last thing we're going to do now is to um, to create our uh, chessboard using pivot table. But before we do that, we need to create um, the number of rows and the number of columns. Okay. And uh, because we're gonna, you know, um, you, you see the chess squares here. We're gonna go from left to right, and then down. Uh, so we need to add. We need to add the uh, the row number, so we're going to add the rows. Okay, so uh, in order to add the rows, so we're going. Uh, so if we go from left to right on the chessboard, we're going to go eight squares in the same row before we move to the next row. Okay, so we need to write a function here to uh, write one 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 until we he we had. Um, number square number eight and then move to two to the second row when we uh, when this uh, chest square is number nine all right 
So the way to do that is to uh, use something similar to uh, the function that you use to calculate the quarters. So we're going to use roundup function here. And what the roundup function is going to do is going to round up the um, division of the uh, chest square number when we divide it by 8. And we're not going to leave any decimals here. Okay. And as you can see here, we have the rows and they switch every time we uh, complete eight squares on the chessboard. The other thing here is uh, is to add the, uh, the columns. Okay, so the columns will change. The columns will change with each square as we go. Okay, but uh, they restart numbering when we uh, hit a new row, okay? So after eight, so we need to number one, two, three, four, five, eight, and then we restart the numbering after um, the chess square eight, okay? We restart. Now, let's see it. So to do that, so you take um, eight, and you minus that from eight, multiply it by, the number of rows or the or the row number on the chessboard and you minus that from the square okay the chess square number and this is what it does is gonna start numbering from one to eight and then restart again when you hit the uh, second row here and go until eight and then switch and back uh, restart the numbering okay so now our data is ready to produce a pivot uh, table so click anywhere inside the table hit pivot table it understands that this is table three okay so it takes the whole thing and we're gonna do it in a new sheet okay so we put the rows of the uh, chessboard in the rows with the columns in the columns and uh, we're going to put the number of rice grains in the values and it's going to sum that. Okay, so basically just producing the same number. Uh, all right, so we have the table here. It looks like it, you know, uh, what um, it doesn't look like a chess board. <laughs> so we need to, to make it look like a chess board. Okay, um, all right, so uh, let's uh, clean it a little bit remove any uh, grand totals and then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make um, these a little bit squarey so let's start with um, let's do 60 probably and yeah well not sure yeah that looks just a little bit good anyway so we hide those ones here and we hide those ones here and what we want to do now is to use conditional formatting to create our chessboard all right okay so the way to do that is you need to select the whole thing here and then you go to uh, a new role and then go to use a formula all right now the formula as you probably remember from my other video if you haven't watched it uh, I'll put the link on the video here so you can find it later on um, we're gonna use a formula now the formula needs to return true or false so we need to do uh, use something here so b5 b is um, it's a column number two and this is uh, row number five so five plus two is gonna be seven which is an odd number if you go to C, this is going to be 3 plus 5, it's an even. So the square go from e, uh, odd, even, odd, if you if you add the two numbers. But if we go below, under the B, so it's going to be 6 and B, which is 6 and 2, is going to be even. So if we go down, it's also odd, even, odd. So what we can do is we can add the row number with the column number. And the resultant number we check if it's an odd number we format it if it's an even number we don't okay so there is a function called is odd 
and it basically checks whether the number you put is a is an odd number okay so we're gonna go and write here row number of b5 and we don't lock it this is important so it moves across the whole range here that you have selected okay and we say plus column b5 as well when we add them together check if it's an odd number or not if it's an odd number format it and we're gonna use something that looks a little bit like a chessboard so we're gonna use black and we're probably gonna use uh, okay yeah that might actually work make it a bit lighter maybe uh, it's too light yeah this might look okay all right and uh, something I forgot is to uh, yeah the font need to be white and probably bold okay all right and now it looks a little bit like a chessboard a real chessboard with numbers in it okay and we're gonna change the format here to scientific so the numbers are a little bit small we remove the uh, decimals and uh, we go to view we remove grid lines and uh, the final thing here we can add a uh, we can add a uh, border all right so this is our chess board here and as you can see here we have the numbers that the inventor requested and if you uh, sum up all of those numbers in the board you will get 18.5 quintillion grains and by the way this is a lot of grains <laughs> and uh, the equivalent of that in metric tons is actually 1.5 trillion tons which by the way is 1800 years of work rice production based on 2013 numbers that's how smart the guy was so imagine 1800 years the world is only producing for one guy <laughs> anyway i hope you like the video if you do uh, please subscribe and if you have stories like this please leave them in the comments and we probably can do one of them thank you